Oh, hi. Thought you'd like to see the inside of a Navage. Not something I normally do. But uh, the other night, well, about a week ago, I uh, got up in the middle of the night and went to use this thing. And after I was finished, I guess I was dazed a little bit. I usually uh, tip the unit and open up the, the valve to uh, drain out any water that's inside. But you should only do that with the uh, bottom off it. And uh, what happened was uh, water went into the uh, suction and uh, it uh, hydro locked this thing or something. Wouldn't work anymore. And I tried putting it on a register for several days to uh, see if that would drain it out. It didn't. So I had to take it apart. So if you're seeing this uh, video, then I've been very successful and it works again. Uh, this is the bottom of the unit. The uh, side without the push button, you need to remove the four screws completely from the bottom because they go in and uh, lock through these tabs. So pull off the side without the button first, then you can do the other side, and then the top will lift off. Uh, this suction part uh, sinks into this little hole. The uh, screws on the bottom are a star bit, or Torx, as a lot of people call them. And uh, I guess they didn't want you to get in there. To remove the pump, there's actually a, another little Torx screw down here. Uh, an Allen works good, because you won't find one that Torx that small, typically, in a kit. Uh, so when I first opened this thing up, uh, I pulled out this little... Uh, this is a check valve assembly, and it's a, a vacuum relief. This is the exit, goes through this little hole down here. This is outside the tank, this is inside the tank where this ring is. And here's what I found. Uh, there's four little holes here, and I had one blocked, but there was uh, moisture in them. and what happens is the water gets up into this and the holes are so small that the pump has a hard time uh, pulling the water through and this little vacuum relief valve this opens up and so the water will sit there uh, you'll never get rid of it as I said one hole was uh, caked with a little bit of salt clean that out you know q-tips and everything there's a black hole in the center uh, that doesn't have to be removed and uh, it, it probably sets the the pressure the vacuum relief on this so don't touch that but uh, just get in there clean everything now if you want to operate the pump this is the uh, the interlock for the pump motor and so to get the pump to work you have to press down on this And then the pump will work. There's a, this is the water valve. Uh, this assembly presses in on that. When it presses, it opens that up. It's uh, pretty simple. It's got nice little gold contacts here for the switch. Uh, it's, it's pretty well made. Uh, the battery car compartment has these uh, threaded inserts they're stainless the screws are stainless so uh, you know it's a it's a good construction but uh, it can very easy water lock or you know if you're shaky or splash around a little bit get some salt in those holes and uh, after a while it may not work as well and this is what you can do I only recommend this for people who uh, have a good mechanical aptitude uh, all these assemblies are a little tricky and you know just be gentle uh, like I said open it up from the back there's a little tab here you'll see a little light shining through you can stick a knife in there and pry it open a little bit and then just keep prying around be gentle and uh, you'll get it apart and uh, if you're careful you'll get it back together but if you're taking it apart it's probably not working at all and uh, it seems rather easy to uh, 
you know, lock up that pump motor inlet. So, hope this helps. If nothing else, uh, kind of an interesting view. This is how it is. That's what's in there. Thanks for watching.